Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I'll be back. Really? Because I don't think you're going anywhere. J K L M N O P Q R S T Baby, you're going to have to pause Harry Styles there for a moment while you have to choose two Would You Rather cards. This one looks like a good one. Oh, I'll just do the one underneath. Okay. Would you rather eat a hot dog smothered in caterpillar guts or have to sleep in a crib for the rest of your life? Uh, I want to go with have to sleep in a crib for the rest of your life. <laughs> Me too. With or without dinner? We have so many boxes, but they're all broken down. Mm -hmm. We did a pretty good job cleaning that Christmas Eve. We stayed up till like four. <laughs> Everybody dance. Yay. I can't see your face. Run, baby, run. I've got an entire Star Wars museum following me. If you thought my collection was extensive, no, 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 no. Rancho Obi-Wan blows it out of the water. I want to be buried at Rancho Obi-Wan. <laughs> While Diana prepares the green eggs and ham, I'm going to go ahead and scratch off these lottery tickets. They're going to be green, right? No. Okay, I don't even want to do this anymore. <laughs> 5,000? 5,000? 27. Match three like amounts, win that amount. Well, 30 is like 10. Those are the lottery tickets I picked out for you. Therefore, you didn't win any money. <laughs> she wanted me to do this, by the way. Tell them you wanted me to do this. Yes, I did. So I'm not just scratching off her lottery tickets because I want to. <gasps> Hun? What? We just won a dollar. <gasps> did we really yeah, we won a dollar. Ah! That means you could go buy another lottery ticket. Yeah, that's exactly what it means. We've paid for an egg. Our lottery tickets have dandruff. Am I scratching off the right side? No, I'm not. <laughs> Zero! Oh, no. Q-T-S-J-I-R-G. What is this? We should get our money back. It's like a 50 cent egg at best. Or like a little chicken. Huh, look at this. This one's got letters instead of numbers. It's making me think. I can't tell if I won or not. L. F. T. P. One dollar. Four dollars, twenty-seven dollars, twenty-seven dollars, six dollars, six dollars. That's a loser. Twenty-seven, two, fifty, five thousand, one hundred. Oh, this is yeah, we're screwed. What's the most you ever won on a scratch off lottery ticket? Mine was thirty dollars. I don't know. It's been forever since I've played one. <gasps> Baby, what? We just won another dollar. I was going to say something snarky about a dollar, but I'm not going to. Diana told me not to. <laughs> well, it was for your own good. <laughs> Green eggs and ham! We're not going to get in trouble with the Mexican Commission, are we? Why? For using enchilada sauce on something that's clearly not an enchilada. Oh no, I grew up eating eggs with enchilada sauce like that. That explains a lot. They are good, thank you. You're very welcome. Today's question comes in by way of Alicia Sherfield. Chris, I was in my early 20s when I had both of my children. Do you believe that people with more life experience have an easier time parenting? I think I'm going to say yes and no at the same time. Yeah. That's how it comes out if you say yes and no at the same time. You'd think that though I was a little older than Diana, I'd have more life experience, and by years, I suppose I would, but not necessarily. 
Diana's had different life experiences than I have. Age has nothing to do with it. She's probably no more better equipped to be a mom than I am to be a dad. Now, I will say that it's nice to have 40 years under my belt when it comes to experience, not physically. I've had to learn a lot the hard way. And as Diana might point out, that could have jaded me somewhat because when you get older, you tend to get more set in your ways. You gotta make the best decision that you can at the time you need to make the decision. Ultimately, as a parent, your own life experience will dictate how you make those decisions. But one person could have more life experience at 20 than another person at 40. It's a big gray area. No, not this topic of discussion, the sky. In my experience, the older I've become, the more perspective I've gained. Has that helped me be a better parent than Diana, who's not as old? I don't think so. Still, I don't know if I'd be able to handle fatherhood the same way 10 years ago. Diana and I are both first-time parents. I'm kind of glad we're able to experience that together. Experience tells me that I love gumdrops approximately 62% more when they're on sale. Experience also tells me that if I don't return with a latte in hand for Diana, she's going to believe that I don't love her anymore. Upon successful delivery of a gigantic sugar-laden beverage, I will have effectively renewed my wedding vows with her. See these jelly bells? Yeah. They symbolize our wedding bells. Aww. It's a metaphor, you see, because the marriage eats us alive and we in turn eat the symbols for our marriage. That makes sense, yeah. So I have to eat one and you have to eat one? I've already eaten about four. Teen. Oh, I see how it is. You get past Christmas and then you completely forget about Mr. Christmas Tree. Next thing you know, you're going to be throwing me to the curb. You're not going to do that, are you? Please tell me you're not going to do that. Right before I picked up the gumdrops, I started to feel weak. You know, my stomach got gurgly. I don't think I'm getting sick. My bones don't ache. I don't feel like I need to throw up. Tell me I'm not getting sick. I don't want to get sick. I can't get sick. I won't get sick. I'm feeling extraordinarily cold, and I wouldn't say the temperature's changed all that much here. I mean, inside the house. Outside, I believe the temperature's dropping, so maybe that is related. I haven't lost my sense of taste, well, at least as far as my tongue's concerned. Tastes like mouth. We're on our own again. It's just you and me, we're on our own again. Yes, Mommy's gone out to the store. She says she needs food. Even though that's really confusing, I think she wants some kind of snack that we didn't have. Your daddy's an idiot. <laughs> Nuni sent you a new video today. It looks like she's got a play button for a nose, but she doesn't. Okay, hit the center of the screen. Close. No, that's a phone. No, those are photos that I took earlier. Okay, that, that's me flarping in a video. You want to watch that? <laughs> wow, this is the first thing that I think you've touched that you actually understood you were touching. I've been told that you shouldn't try to talk and eat at the same time. Diana's gonna go ahead and demonstrate her hot buns. She's got two of them. And now she's going to transmogrify herself into Princess Leia. Why am I taking advice from you? I don't know. <laughs> it was on sale, so I had to get it. Oh, of course. <laughs> it looks like it'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you say the same thing for just about any product? Yeah. And I wonder if I can do it now, actually. Should I try it? I need a mirror. I'll do the little one, right? No, do both. Fuzzy turd cam. <laughs> That's what it looks like, a fuzzy turd. <laughs> like you can do your hair in a bun and scrub the dishes at the same time. <laughs> one. <laughs> Thank you. Look, it pokes out. Oh, look. I see it. Okay, hold on. Let me snap it. Sorry, this will take a minute. Might need your assistance. You sure about that? 
spooky. Okay, forget it, I'm bored. <laughs> I may have to watch the movie again, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it looked. See, my hair is still too short. Oh, I regret cutting my hair because I feel like it's way more maintenance now that it's short than it was when it was long. Tell me about it, sister. I know, because I mean, you have to cut your hair like at least twice a month. Me? Well, don't you? No. Short hair? No. I feel like I have to actually style it for it to look somewhat presentable. It's not styled right now. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm glad you brought it up. But you know what I mean? I, I don't know if other people agree with me. Do you think short hair is more maintenance than long hair? I think this conversation is maintenance. <laughs> Well, if your hair is too short, so is mine. We'll just glue them on. I don't think it works that way. <laughs> Jedi still hasn't been able to watch the video that Noonie sent her. Third time's the charm. Hey, Jedi. I'm taking a walk today in Iowa. If you were here, I'd put you in a stroller and you could walk with me. It's a little chilly. Just chilly enough to put roses in your cheeks. So, I hope you are having... A beautiful day and laughing and giggling and singing with mommy and daddy. Love you, Bella Mia. You're surrounded by toys. And that's the way it's going to be for the rest of your life. <laughs> Mommy's gone out again. She's looking for mascara. Some kind of special mascara that she really, really apparently needs right now. And no store seems to have it. Thanks again for taking the time to like and share this video right now and for interacting with us every day. We'll see you tomorrow.